My name is London Foss. I go to North Star Christian Academy. I am a senior this year. So I'd say that adoption is probably the only reason that I'm here right now. That's the major part of my story. When I was born, my biological mother was doing uh, drugs and stuff like that before, during, and even after the pregnancy. So um, it was almost obvious that she wasn't going to be able to take care of me, but obviously since they want to give the bio moms a chance to redeem themselves and stuff like that. It took around two years for me to be adopted. But within those two years, I know that there was a bunch of up and downs. But like they always said, you know, we adopted you, we care about you, stuff like that. I was just like, yeah, that seems like somewhat normal to me. Like I didn't think adoption was like anything that people would like be weird about or look down on. I think it first initially clicked maybe when I was around eight. I was just like, huh, like, like these people like these random people just out of the kindness of their heart just decided to accept me in their home with when I was a baby not even knowing if they were gonna end up with me or stay with me but they were still willing to care for me love me as if I was one of their own and then adopt me to make me one of their own I'm thankful that they adopted me like obviously I'm thankful that I could end up in a home throughout all my years of my life but 13 was like I'm happy that I got placed in this home because it was obvious that God had a plan for me I could honestly say um, it doesn't really matter when you're adopted. Obviously, some parents or foster care parents would care if it's a baby compared to like maybe a teenager, which I completely understand. People have different comfortabilities around different um, ages of children. But I really don't think it's either too early or too late to foster or adopt any kid because everyone's still just looking for a home. Being able to know that an adoptive parent can love you just as much as your biological parent you can almost compare that to Christ loving you because we are basically all adopted. None of us are technically his biological sons or daughters and things like that, but he still loves us even more than any parent would. So to be able to compare an adoptive mother and father who loves and cares about you to an adoptive heavenly father who loves and cares about you even more than that, um, I think that's more so how what got me through hardships regarding adoption and how I was able to perceive Christianity and try to be able to relate that to other people.